Hello guys, my name is Virender and welcome to my channel and I hope you guys have enjoyed my previous video and you guys might be scoring some good marks okay, in assistant hydrogeologist exam. So in this video we are going to talk about the probable merit okay so what's gonna be the cutoff okay so let's talk about it so before talking about the probable merit okay so let me show you few of the merits cutoffs of the previous years then we will discuss and we will also talk about the difficulty of the exam and what has changed in the pattern this year okay so we will be considering all the facts based on that we will be taking some numbers probable cutoff okay i will be telling you about the probable cutoff and those who has not subscribed my channel please subscribe my channel do support me thank you guys so let's start analyzing so guys this exam has happened only once in the past that in 2019 at that time there were 50 posts of assistant hydrogeologist but this year the number of seats has increased so let's see the previous year cutoff first then we will talk about further things so in 2019, for general, the cutoff was 181.5 and for OBC, it was 165.50. But at that time, the seats for OBC were 21 and for SC, it was 157.5 and seats were 5. And for ST, it was 3 seats and the cutoff was 136. And for EWS, 5 seats, the cutoff was 153.50. Just by seeing this, the cutoff, we cannot say anything about this year cutoff. Why? I will tell those factors in further slides so here there were nine seats of assistant geologist also so they have clubbed they have taken the same examination this year so previously they were used they used to conduct both the exams separately so in 2018 there were 50 posts of assistant geologist there the number of candidates were 28 and the cutoff mark was 183 for journal students, but for OBC 23, so 167. So this year, so in 2018, they have recruited more OBC students. Okay, But in this year, they are going to recruit only one OBC student. So what I think the cutoff for journal for assistant geologist is going to be somewhere between 205 to 2010 and for OBC student the, as the number of seat is just one so it is going to be above 200 and it is going to stay between 200 to 205 and for SC it is going to be between 175 to 185 and for ST it is going to be 175 to 185 because there is only one seat okay so for EWS there are no seats this year so Let's move towards the hydrogeologist one. So, because all of you are waiting for the analysis for hydrogeologist. So, this year, what I have noticed, so in 2019, when they have given the hydrogeologist exam, there were around 40 questions from hydrogeology only. Okay. But this year, they have not given exam like that. They have given the exam of assistant geologist one. So we cannot decide cutoff just seeing the 2019 paper of hydrogeologist because the pattern has changed this year. Okay. So if it was only of hydrogeologist exam, then we will be getting around 40, 30 to 40 questions of hydrogeology at least. But this year only around 10 questions were there. So this is the pattern of assistant hydrogeologist. So if we have to decide the merit, we have to consider the merit of the assistant geologist also. Okay. Then only we can talk about its course. So now this year exam. So exam compared to the previous one, it looks easy, but it is tricky. There are tricky questions also. So we cannot say that it is the easier comparatively to the previous examination. Okay. No. Now, this year, the seeds has also increased from 50 to 70, but the paper is a little bit tricky. So, most of you guys are expecting that merit is going to get down the around 170, but it is not like that because the paper is of assistant geologist. So, most of you are going to score well in this exam. So, what I think the score, the cutoff for each category is going to be for unresolved the cutoff is going to stay between 180 to 185 okay though the seats has increased but paper has pattern has changed but it is paper is also easy in comparison to the previous one so the cutoff is going to 
stay between 180 to 185 for unreserved category and for OBC it is going to stay between 165 to 170 and for SC category for it is going to stay between 145 to 155 and for ST it is going to be between 140 to 150 and for EWS category it is going to stay between 165 to 175. So these are the probable cutoffs but I think on the basis of the analysis of the previous year exams. So if you guys have any suggestions you guys comment them okay now if you, those students who has not subscribed us please subscribe us if you are liking my effort do subscribe me thank you guys best of luck for your future